what's up my little tattletales yo y'all made me come off my vacation flow to literally talk about what's going on with rob and the black china trial listen so many of you guys inbox me wondering what's going on what's going on is this bad for black china and let me get to the point no it's not the kardashians lawyer are trying to put up a smoke screen what is that you guys let's focus focus everybody listen this trial is about whether the Kardashians used their power and influence to get China unduly fired from what was going on with her show. It don't matter what happened between her and Rob, because if that is, they would have took actual human resources steps to fire her. It don't matter, it don't matter. But also, TMZ tried it, because their whole report, let me explain something to Africa about, let me explain something about American culture to you. Matter of fact, let's just get into TMZ. Black China g holds a gun to Rob's head was just a joke. Diddle for the cable choke. Now, let me tell you something, right? The Kardashians lawyers are literally trying to argue that when Chris said that China beat the ish out of Rob and that's why she was supposed to be fired, they tried to argue that it was just a term of speech. That's how Americans speak. It's normal. But now all of a sudden, they're literally acting like something's weird with China joking. But let's get into this spin. Black China claims she was just joking around when she pointed a gun in a Rob Kardashian's head. And she says wrapping an iPhone cord around his neck was also in jest. Now, first of all, we know it's in jest because I don't care what y'all say. Rob's neck is too big for an iPhone. And that's just my humble opinion. So what do I know? But get this. Black China told the jury that she and Rob were celebrating their show being picked up for a second season back in December 2016. With the former couple marking the occasion by throwing around money and being silly. Anyone that's familiar with American culture knows and again y'all might think it's weird but if you're familiar with American culture you know that we've seen it in a million movies in a million gangster flicks and a million winner throwing money making it rain acting like again it might be weird to you but that's true China's lawyer showed a video clip in court from the night of their alleged fight with footage showing Rob wearing a torn shirt black China says Rob clothing was ripped when they were joking around and being silly now, first of all, I think it got ripped because China hit the Little Debbie Pies. And Rob was like, mmm, wah, 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 Rob, what? Little Debbie Pies, right? And I know I'm busy dragging people and talking trash on vacation. I know what y'all saying. Damn, how you mad on vacation? Because I am. But listen, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, notifications, because you know I'm following this story to the bitter end. And guess what? We want justice for China. I hope she gets $600 million. I hope the, the jury bankrupts the Kardashians. But you know what? Let's get back into the juice because, yo, they tried it like they always do. But also, she says that she meant no harm and he never asked her to stop or indicated he was hurting her. I agree with that too. I, in my opinion, I think they looked at the security footage, they concocted a story, and that's why Kylie never came up with the security footage. And because in my opinion, they were all joking around. Black China then testified that Rob was playing video games later that night when she jokingly put an iPhone cord around his neck. <laughs> We all know that it was two inches too short. But let's act like this bullshit happened, right? What she says was a joke to get him to pay attention to her. China was adamant on the stand. She was not trying to strangle Rob. Now, let me just stop and pause and say this. I have a morbid sense of humor. All my friends think I have a morbid sense of humor. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Tisa got a morbid sense of humor, right? Plenty of times. I have literally, I have held people's favorite stuffed animals hostage and did a jihad terrorist video holding them ransom and i thought it was hilarious again different strokes for different folks the important thing is black china's testimony then shifted to the gun with china saying rob kept it on the dresser though it was unloaded and rob told her there weren't any bullets in the house again um can i just say this rob literally threatened to hire a hitman Rob literally threatened to send 30 Mexicans, including him, Orle Vato, because you know his sisters love black fishing, and they and Rob loves Mexican fishing. Again, maybe this is American culture, and those that are outside of America don't get it. And when I say American culture, West Coast American culture, because I understand New York, y'all don't have guns like that. I get it. But anybody's in the West Coast, my West Coast saddle tells, stand up and let them know what happens in the comments. People play literally reenacting movies from Set It Off, reenacting Scarface, reenacting a million movies. Isn't that viral meme when those girls are like playing around and the one girl's just like waving the gun, happy as mess? Stop acting like this doesn't happen. And again, right? 
If she knew that there were no bullets in it and Rob knew there was no bullets in it, then what else could it be but a joke? Unless Rob forgot that his gun wasn't loaded and feared for his life? Give me a break. Again, let me just focus you guys. What does this have to do with, Ch again, what does this have to do with China's case that the Kardashians unduly interfered with her getting fired? Because don't forget, bringing up that lawsuit with Rob, and this is the lawsuit that Rob dropped. Let's not forget that Rob dropped this. Let's not forget that even two days after, he, well, a few days after he was interviewed by Child Social Services and literally testified that China won never put his hands her hands on him wasn't violent didn't hit them and he wasn't in fear of his life so what's really going on what's the point of bringing this up i get it their attorney michael and it's the fourth attorney they've been on and the six other attorneys lynn Gianni, shout out to lynn Gianni, got them on the ropes you guys keep in mind that when you get this information stay focused because what does it have to do with the price of tea in china how does this change her accusations against the Kardashians? And if they thought all this happened, where's the police report? Hmm? Where's all the things you do when somebody literally tried to kill you? Hmm? It's funny that what they did hmm, was what you do. And don't forget that Rob literally said that if he, this is what I read in um, the thing, Rob literally said that if China, pay attention to this, drop the lawsuit against his family then he would drop the attempted murder does that sound like somebody that was just murdered i don't think so but let's get into more of this because black china says rob was eating little debbies and face and was on facetime with his friends when she came up to him and put the gun to his head she said she jokingly said he better never leave her and wasn't being serious again maybe it's west coast culture and listen i grew up with guns in the household lots of people on the west coast east coast whatever grew up with and it doesn't matter west coast south midwest right grew up with guns in the house to somebody overseas that doesn't understand american gun culture and somebody maybe in the northeast that doesn't understand it it might be a little hard to take but this is what we do again west coast midwest south tattletale stand up and let me know if y'all think i'm being serious i want to hear what you got to say but you know my finger stays on the block button, so y'all better be respectful. But if you respectful, baby, we can talk about this all day because I literally want to hear. Now, listen, Black China also testified on her December 15, 2016 argument that Rob started, that with Rob started when he accused her of cheating on him. Now get this, Rob the refrigerator Kardashian is deeply insecure. You know this, he already shows, right? claiming he was very jealous and would often go through her phone let's not forget that he got her investigated by the lapd when he broke into her phone last right because black china says things got to the point where they had a paternity test taken to assure rob he was the father and a test show he was in fact the baby's daddy let me tell you something rob's a low down piece of crap how could you look at dream who literally looks like robert Kardashian? Dream looks more Kardashian than Kim, Chloe, well, of course, Chloe, Kylie, Courtney, and all of them. The fact that you made this woman take a paternity test, I'm sick of him. It's interesting, right? Well, but they go on to say, while Black China's mom, Tokyo Tony, has rallied, railed against the Kardashians on social media this week and taken, taken shots at Kris Jenner, Black China kept referring to Chris as Miss Chris and said she thought of Chris as a second mom. Let me tell y'all something. The fact that people don't understand black culture, the fact that no matter how much an older person disrespects you, you're always going to call them Mr. Miss. The fact that people don't get that black China actually had love for Chris and that goddamn Coven before they literally screwed her over. Again, can somebody that from the black culture teach the jury what's going on, what's really good? Because I'm sick of this. Again. If you're from the black culture, this seems so transparent and so apparent. But I guess to everybody else, it's just a mystery. But good thing your girl is here on vacation at all to work it out, right? Now get this. Turn your notifications on. Make sure you subscribe because this all happened before the lunch hit on California time. Listen, your girl's on vacation, but you know what? It don't matter. I'm going to keep bringing y'all the juice. But y'all, game recognized game. Demon recognizes demon. Can we all just focus on what Black China is suing the Kardashians on? Rob got another case. Rob dropped the assault case. So how the hell are they trying to say that they did illegal, shady-ass stuff on behalf of their brother? 
that didn't that literally testified they gave a sworn statement to child custody a few days after the rob that china never laid a hand on him and she's never hit him y'all recognize the game that's all i'm saying listen Keep up with TMZ, keep up on Radar Online, but make sure you turn on your likes, subscribes, notifications, all that. Because, baby, you know I'm going to bring you the truth. Whether I'm on vacation or whether I'm not, all right? Ain't my fault that I'm out here getting loose. Mama, blame it on the juice. All right, y'all. Cheers, bitches. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.